Hello, Birchview Dunes Elementary. Cassie Rush, Canadian Skeleton Racer, 2014 Canadian Champion, and Sochi Russia Winter Olympic Games Team Canada Alternate. I want to thank you guys so much for inviting me into your school and into your classroom for this incredible initiative. So many amazing athletes have already shared their stories of triumph and experience through both success and the inevitable failure that comes with the pursuit of our dreams. I am truly honored to have met and even competed alongside some of those very people and can say firsthand, they really are the best of the best. That said, I wanted to challenge all of you with a brand new trait to the Character Through Sport initiative. A trait that I have and continue to champion both on and off the ice. That trait is authenticity. The word authentic has been defined as not false or imitation, real, actual. Now, what does that mean for us? At its core, it means being you. But don't worry, I get it. That's way easier said than done, right? It's tough growing up. You've got pressure at school, uh, at home, with friends, relatives, teachers, parents, siblings, and even strangers seem to think that they can have an opinion about what you do, what you say, what you're thinking, and how you act. Am I right? Well, I'm here to tell you guys that even though you may have heard this before, the best bet through this life is to be yourself. By the way, let others be themselves too. Danae Brown has been quoted as to say, authenticity is the daily practice of letting go of who we think we are supposed to be and embracing who we really are. I myself would have never tried the headfirst sport of skeleton at age 25 if I had been worried about what people might think, let alone made a run for the Olympic Games in less than four short years if I had listened to what many outsiders were saying along that way. The journey, much like every single challenge I have or probably am yet to face, was about staying true to me. Me, the outspoken, outgoing, loud, quirky, inquisitive, thoughtful, often extremely emotional, and truthfully, frightened to try new things sometimes for fear of looking bad person that I really am. I saw Skeleton as the next greatest challenge of my life. And that's exactly what it was. And while I'm now retired from competition, I will never regret a single moment of that chapter. When we fear that we can't think and act as we truly are, we put parts of ourselves on hold. But here's how we can begin to let go of expectations and pressures and actually get to our wants and needs with some kindness. Number one, I want you to define and redefine your values. It's hard to behave in an authentic way if you don't know what they are. And when, you, when, you, when I say values, you might say, well, what do you mean? Google values, and you'll find things like honesty, integrity, success, service, love, which ones of those are the most important to you? They may be something now and they may change in the future, but it's important to figure out what they are. Number two, encourage an open mind, not only with yourself, but with others. We all come from a diverse amount of different backgrounds. It's important to know that when we're having conversations in class, when we're out in the public, Listen to what other people have to say, but with an understanding that they may not have had the same experiences as you. 
You will learn a ton more with that in mind. Number three, I'm going to say a sentence and I want you to fill in the blank at the end. If you really knew me, you'd know this. What is that thing? Sometimes that simple statement can help you define yourself as well as help other people understand you too. Number four is notice when you're being inauthentic. Now that means a little bit of self-reflection. And it's not always easy. I mean, life can be really tricky. Um, things present themselves in ways that can make us want to fit in more or Sometimes we're challenged with something that we wouldn't have expected we have to decide and, and maybe we made a choice that wasn't true to us. The most important thing is to at least be able to step back and see what that was and why it happened and grow. And last but not least, it's the simple thing that is not always so simple to listen to. And that's your intuition. That little voice that's telling you you're good enough. You are strong enough. Don't worry about what those other people are saying. You've got this. That intuition, it knows a lot. And I want you to start listening even closer. Don't expect to get everything right from the start in life. And we're never really quite ready. But it's never going to be the perfect time to try. So just try. Being comfortable is easy. Growing can be difficult. But without growth, we can never see the most amazing and sometimes superhuman feats that many of you in this room will do. Like many of the Olympic champions that have spoke before me, it all started with the possibility be authentic to that possibility. Be authentic to yourself. I believe in you. So go get it.